Hi everyone, so sea shanties seem to have become popular again. I think it's due to TikTok, and there's a song on there called The Weller Man, which kind of goes... It's a really quirky song, but it's become quite popular in this there's dance track versions of it and all sorts. And look, we've come a long way from what should we do with the drunken sailor, right? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? I mean, that was a two chord song and incredibly repetitive, very boring. At least this one's got a few different chords in it. So let me show you a little bit about how to play it. If you're a student, this could be uh, useful if you've heard it on TikTok and want to learn how to play it. If you're a teacher, you may have a student who wants to play it and this will hopefully help you. So, for the start, uh, we're really in C minor, although this piece is kind of in F minor, I think. It's kind of hard to describe and it's quite interesting and we could go into it in a different video what key it's in because what should we do with the drunken sailor is in D Dorian. And a lot of the C shanty kind of sounds come from uh, using modes, and Dorian in particular. But anyway, the first chord of this uh, is C minor, and it moves between C minor and F minor. And I'm playing F minor here in uh, second inversion, so we could also do this. kind of C shanty feel, I use what's called a vamp in the left hand, or, or a patter, it was also known as. It's that kind of thing that, you know, you could play behind someone uh, speaking, or about to introduce a character in a circus. You get that kind of feeling about it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, in the right hand I'm playing the triad, uh, in the left hand I'm moving between the octaves of C and the dominant, which is G. And that's the main core, uh, melody, I should say, the verse. I don't know the words well enough, so that's why I'm just kind of humming through it. But uh, if you know the words better, you can use them instead. So we've got the verse. does one verse and one chorus and the chorus is this it suddenly goes from one person singing to these rich harmonies which is why it sounds so great when uh, you listen to the original song now interestingly enough the chorus starts with an a flat major chord this one so let's simplify that down i'm just playing the notes a flat c and e flat and that's our first chord now i've moved that up into first inversion here and i've added root, fifth, and octave in the left hand, just to give it some richness. And the melody goes, and then we change to an E flat major chord, that's our second chord, which is this one here. So E flat, G, and B flat. So, and then back to F minor, C minor again, our first two chords. And that repeats again. These kind of C shanties aren't built on very many complex chords, and this one's a great example. The verse uses two chords, C minor and F minor, and the chorus uses adds two more to make a total of four chords. So it adds the A flat, the E flat, and then it goes to F and C. And in some ways, I think that's the simplicity of this song, is that it really doesn't, it's not very complex. And the, the joy in it, I guess, is that it's kind of unusual at the moment because you don't really hear sea shanties very often these days. So it's got some mystique around it. And it also has those cool harmonies. When you've got, I don't know how many people are in this group, but there's at least four parts, maybe a few more. When you have four guys singing in harmony on a rich A flat chord. <laughs> And the melody at the top. 
Because there's so many harmonies going on, it's it's kind of hard to pick the melody, but I think it is. I think. But it also sounds like. Which also works. And then back to the verse. There once was a accompanying this or teaching someone to play along to the original. This is the original key, so students can play along to it. If they wanted to play the melody, then they could try and work it out by ear. If you're a pianist, then at least you know the kind of notes that we're working. We're working in a C minor and an F minor uh, note set, right? play along to that, uh, you could uh, add some chords as well. So let me see if I can do that. So all I'm doing here is just uh, what I was doing with the chords. I'm just taking the chords out and now I'm playing the melody. fact, the composers of this uh, piece of music have an album of them. What possessed them to start writing sea shanties? Who knows? But I'm kind of glad. It's kind of fun music, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick little look into how to play the Weller Man. Enjoy. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe, and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching, so make sure you check out some of those other ones here, and I'll see you in the next video.